Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's the dog days of summer right now. I was born in this time. This is the second anniversary when I was diagnosed with the tumor, also known as Willis, who I am I'm currently trying to get some treatment for, actually. OSG is is uh, in search of uh, a place in the in the DFW area that will um, treat me with some radiation for my tumor instead of going down to Houston. We're in the middle of doing that. Just thought I'd hit you with that right off the bat and say welcome back to a fishing video. Or, well, well we're going to try to go fishing. It's We'll see how it goes. And I also want to say thanks for all the awesome comments and uh, just good vibes from the Africa videos. And it was a great experience and I definitely want to go back and uh, just want to say South Africa, awesome, awesome. There's a lot more to explore there, so I'll be back in the future. And there's a lot of other things to update you guys on. I can't think of everything right now, but while I'm just sitting here looking at some crankbaits, I apologize. They should be up by this video. Um, I think I said in a previous video they'd be up in uh, mid to late July. However, uh, we hit a couple of hiccups. So visit shopcrawls.com, link down below. Hopefully they are there. If not, just hang on a second. And we also are going to have a limited selection at the Guggen HQ for all y'all that are local or there's a lot of you that aren't local that just like to come up there and hang out with us. They're gonna be in there as well, but we're gonna have a, a, a small selection. A lot of the big box stores, online stores have, have gotten them. And to be honest with you, I don't even have that many right now. So hopefully I get a few in that bunch as well. We're gonna go do a little fishing today. Just kind of see how a little evening bite goes. We're just gonna see what happens. I haven't fished in forever. I've been slinging arrows and, and bullets down in the, the African savannas, so. Uh, I gotta remember how to fish. Oh yeah, start right up, baby. It feels good to go fast again. Whee! I miss you, silver bullet. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna start off just throwing that big bag. It's actually not a huge flutter spoon. But uh, to be honest with you, it's the last thing I had tied on. There's big gizzard shad around. They're kind of floating. I don't think they'll be too shy to hit a hit a big spoon right now. If this doesn't work, I'll probably get a plastic out and just drag it very slowly. Oh yeah, Mondo, I can't there. Oh, is that a fish already? Come on, fishy. Hit a little crank. Give it a little yank. Don't know what to think, it's so dang hot. <laughs> Shad on the bottom here, which is interesting. Somebody should be here. Smack this crankbait right on the face. Just got my words yanked by a little. Bass. Oh man, he hit it right when it hit the bottom. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think I smoked it. Oh, I had him. I wonder what that is right there. I wonder if that's. He was pulling with it twice. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Four pound test to get in here. What just happened there? What did we do? We just tied on a little crappie jig? Went deep on them? Oh yeah, you're gonna be a 12 -er. Yes, sir, let's go. I literally just tied on one of these, uh, this is a hand-tied crappie jig. One of you guys made me. I was getting some weird bites on the bass side of things, on the Mondo worm. I'm pretty sure they were bass but just got me thinking like there could be some crappie down here on this on some of the structure oh gosh i just had another one crappie they're always looking up that's how their eyes are designed so it's usually better to be farther up than down oh there's a bite really soft got him uh, switched up oh no we got away switched up my jig and i got him see him on the electronics that's a school of them there oh man i was getting chased crappies might be coming out of here they're definitely coming out from under the dock now oh there he is 
Oh, he come off. That one didn't feel that great. Oh man, you can see them. They're definitely chasing right here. Oh, oh gosh. Tiny bluegill. Well, I thought things were going to blast off right there on the crappie game and they just hit a dead wall. I don't know if it's like the timing, um, if they're going into a different feed mode or whatever. It was like bam, bam, a couple of bites and they just kind of shut it down. That's crappie, you know, they get, they get locked jaw sometimes. For right now, I'm just, uh, I'm doing a little cranking, I'm trying to see if a bass or two wants to bite or something out here. There's a lot of shad that are high in the water column and I've literally seen largemouth just come up and just blah, just smash shad. There's a lot of fish around here, uh, a lot of different species. I'm doing a little roaming around with a bait, a little reconning. So there are a lot of white bass like roaming at the surface here. They are late summer doozies. They're just keying in on whatever they want to key in on and not wanting to do the dance of the tangle. That is very sad. That makes me sad. First of all, great clips. Didn't do a good job with the hair there. The lady I normally use she uh she was absent and that's what i got second of all you ever just you get on some fish and you're like get the grease hot i'm about to bring home the juice and then it just drifts off into nothing that's what happened with those crappie i think if i had live minnows i could have eased them out from under the dock but they were just kind of coming out a little bit and just taking a peek and just kind of nipping you know they weren't really munching so i lost one and I, I did catch a good one but i'm gonna let him go i at least have to give him a good solid snipper in i was gonna say he might be dead but he's not okay buddy go do what you do eat them minners uh okay old boy's not kicking here so uh looks like you're coming home with me <laughs> sorry I've, i had the air reader going and everything you should have just kicked, man. You should have just kicked down. Now you're gonna go in the grease. If you think I won't make a sandwich out of that guy, you're crazy. That'll be lunch tomorrow. I uh, thought I'd just kind of come here, you know, throw a worm around, see if we can get a largey on the line. Hit it on the way down. Yes, sir. Thank you for getting old Mondo. What a hook set, eh? You need to eat, sir. Oh my gosh, you've got a lesion or something on you. What's going on there? Let's try to get that off for you, bud. Yeah, there's something going on right here. Got like a parasite. <gasps> oh no. That's fishing line. I don't know what the heck was going on there. It was like a hook situation, but hey, buddy. Hopefully that wasn't like some sort of weird tag. Right there on the apex of that point, the bass was sitting there and actually hit it as it was falling down. The tail on this worm just has a uh, rippling effect. I would like to think there might be another in there just the way that happened so quickly. We'll fire a crank. <sighs> okay, I just got bit oh, again. Hard hit, I'm gonna put another worm on, but I'm also going to put a jig on. Black and blue from one of you. Thank you very much for sending me these jigs. You guys tend to do that sometimes. I do actually use them. Okay, I'll cut that off. Put ourselves a big old fat cracky crow on there. Cause in the summertime, the kicking hard. Bet you if I sat on this little spot for a while, I'll catch a couple. I'm sure our drag is ready for that hook set. Worm, jig, crankbait, you know, topwater. Those are a few of my summertime go-tos. 
Trying something new here on the uh, electronics game. Keeping the side imaging rolling from my back graph. And I just put it up front. That way I can see what's going on side to side. Like real time. I was using it to see up under the dock for crappie. And they were just hanging in there. Ooh, there's a bite. Come on, baby. There he is. Yeah, be a little bigger. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Get out there a little deeper and old big boy come up there. Guy. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Little evening bass. Come here, you. Oh god, you are fat and chunky. Yes. summertime bass look how fat that thing is y'all for a summer bass it's awesome got to love it okay this might be the day ender it's been a hard day swim away into the deeps mm -hmm. good old red bug you are my summertime fave i'm in trouble I usually break it out i might have to make me one more cast you just know how it is but i want to show you guys the woodworks and dangle supply cave made some big improvements in there so uh Make a few more casts. It's still 88 degrees out here. It's time for a cold one and uh, the cave. It's just a good, good way to end the day. Ugh. Bit of an issue fish got in the trolling motor but we got him i lied one more fish on the mondo having to creep this thing along on the bottom oh the old summertime dragon okay that is it for me i am now going in <sighs> made it back to the crib last night y'all i am still like jet lagged from my trip to Africa. So uh, when I got home last night, after I ate some delicious Parmesan, eggplant Parmesan from OSG. Mm. Thank you, honey. Absolutely crashed, like crashed as soon as the fork hit the plate. And I know I'm sitting in my dark cave right now, but this is what I wanted to show you. Check this out. Whoopam! Oh yes, oh yes. I installed the lights. I gotta tell you about these lights because they were one of the easiest things I've ever installed and they were cheap and they're super bright and they're energy efficient. This company on Amazon, they're called, uh, I think it's Barina. I'll leave a link down there. I'll leave an affiliate link, Amazon affiliate link. So if you guys do have a garage or something you wanna put in there, use that link because I get like a little, uh, little, whatever a little kickback from amazon i think they were 50 bucks for the set of the four footers and they come in a six pack and you link them together there's five right here there's one more in this section let's go ahead and kick that on a little barn wood toolbar over here what bam so this is going to be my toolbar where i uh I, i'm going to have all my um like wood paints oils i'm going to do french french cleat shelving in here and then do uh all of like my my charging stations and little tool, you know, where you can hang up stuff. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm starting to get this organized the way I want it. And like right now, you know, I've got a clean fish. So the way I've got this over here is I've got it organized so that when I come in, boom, I've got my boning knife, I got my fillet knife, then I've got my electric fillet knife as well. I've got all my sharpening belts for my work sharp system. I've got a bunch of sharpening stuff. Gotta keep them fillet knife sharp. All knife sharp, ready to go. And I also uh, stopped by the old Northern Tool by the Guggen HQ and got one of these, but it is entirely too tall for my table. So I actually need like a little stool and I'm in search for like an old school stool or just something, I don't know, unique stool. If you guys know of any unique shop stools out there, let me know in the comments. I gotta clean this crappie. I let it sit on ice overnight 
So it should be good. I'm actually gonna eat it probably for breakfast or lunch. I wasn't kidding. I mean, you're not gonna throw away a 12 inch copy. If you do, you're crazy. I guess my stool could be used for this right here. Just pump it up, sit here with you guys. But yeah, this is basically all the new additions to the cave here. And as far as fishing goes, this is normally a time where I start to night fish a little bit, but there is no way I could night fish right now. My times are so thrown off. I was on the opposite side of the earth for like a week and a half. So I'm just trying to catch up on my sleep and get back in the swing of things. But I'm glad we were able to catch a few fish. I can't believe that the crappie were not just jumping in the boat there. I thought it was gonna turn on, but it's always good to catch some green ones too. I don't just wanna push Mondo worms on you because I think they're an awesome bait. I, I, I created the bait. Uh, I, th I think it's a, a great worm. This time of year, like big baits, big worms, 10 inch worms. I've used those for years in the summertime, even 12 inch worms sometimes on Texas rigs. It's a fantastic night bait, but it's just a great, uh, bait for the daytime you know fishing brush piles fishing just just trying to get down there a little deep i usually put like a quarter five sixteenths maybe a half ounce on there fish deep timber just drop offs um thick brush a lot of places where summertime bass like to go i'll leave a link down below if you want to just pick up some mondo worms at shopcarls.com they're in tons of retail stores now as well but the colors that I would really focus on if you're gonna get into worm fishing is like a blue fleck, plum color, red bug. It's one of my favorites. Black and blue can be good too if the water's really stained, but those purple colors seem to always do the best in the worms. When it comes to worms, I'm 80% of the time throwing a purple variation. So make sure if you're gonna get into worm fishing, you gotta get some of those colors right there. I don't know what it is, I just love purple. Now I have to get to cleaning this crappie y'all in the new cave, nice well lit cave. If you see any additions that uh, you think I need to add, let me know in the comments. And I've got to do a little babysitting. Mom's ready for a little mom day, and I've got to go watch Amy, so I got to get to that, y'all. But thank you for tuning in. Stick tuned. Stick tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned right here. Hit the like button. 